Giants take Kadarius Tony, Florida Gators wide receiver. This one I was surprised at. One I just wasn't even considering wide receiver at the time, but very surprised that the Giants went Kadarius Tony. Um, he's a good player. He's you know I did a film breakdown on one of the first ones I did. Uh, I think he's got good speed to be able to burn. Not a flat out burner, but he's got good speed. They call him the human joystick for a reason. Like he can juke now. The Giants offense is going to have to get creative. They're going to have to get creative to use this guy. You know, and, and all these young guys coming in around Jason Garrett, they're going to have to get creative. Um, I don't know if this puts Shep, stays Shep out on the outside, or if this is the replacement for Shep. Uh, it's going to be really interesting to see what the Giants do for this. I love that they traded back. They get another weapon for Daniel Jones, and that's the name of the game. Kadarius Tony was their guy, and they got it. Very interesting pick. Um, was not expecting it. I did have two wide receivers ahead of him. And uh, Deami Brown and Rondell Moore. I know people are going to hate the Deami one, but I did. But let's see. Let's go Big Blue. All right. So here are my thoughts on the Giants selecting Kadarius Tony. right? If you go by your generic, like, I've calmed down at the pick. I was really harsh on it at first. But I don't think it's an A-plus pick. I also don't think it's a D or an F pick. Here's what we have to realize, right? The Giants are, they got a plan. I actually believe that, right? You look at the receiving core right now. You've got Galladay, Slayton, Field Stretcher, right? Guys who could really push that defense, stretch the defense out at the receiving core. Slate or Shepard, your generic slot. Kadarius Tony doesn't fit into any of these specific type things. Sure, he's a short guy. Sure, he's sure he doesn't have the big height. He could stretch your defense a little bit. But he's he's the most dynamic after the catch receiver on this roster right now. That's what the Giants wanted. They I they I guess they weren't in love with any of the offensive tackles. But they are trying to be able to have a flexible playbook, a versatile playbook. They're valuing versatility. They value what Evan Ingram brings to that offense. A lot of the different skill sets they have in their receiving core, and that's what they were going for. Sure. I'm a little bit worried about his character concerns. And was he the number one receiver on my board? Not at all. But but what he does is he brings a scheme fit that I think Dave Gettleman values. This pick wasn't about talent. It was about versatility and flexibility in the offense, and they did that. Was it an A-plus pick? No. Was it an F pick? No. And to be honest, I'd give it a C-plus. But when you combine that C-plus with an A trade from Dave Gettleman to get us a first-round pick next year, I think it was a pretty good draft night overall for the Giants. I wouldn't be upset, and I don't think anyone else should be either.